The moon is a powerful symbol of the triple goddess, who represents the spiritual growth of wisdom and the evolution of a woman from an innocent maiden to the loving mother and hence to the wise crone. These stages are also a reflection of the four lunar phases, the dark moon, the waxing moon, the full moon, and the waning, which are also mirrored by the female menstrual cycles. Just as the moon is the mother of the universe representing the feminine powers of the cosmos, so the sun is opposite and represents the masculine forces that surround us and infuse us with the power of the gods. Purely in its own right, the power of the moon and the timing of its phases can either enhance or disrupt our bodily rhythms and our lives. Consulting the moon and an astrological chart is a vital part of spell casting. Some days and months are more beneficial for casting certain spells than other times. The New Moon The dark of the moon, when the moon is invisible, is the most effective time for casting spells concerning new beginnings and the launch of new projects. It is generally a time for taking new paths and making fresh plans established on the basis of past experiences. The influence of the new moon can also boost ambitions and careers, so it is a productive time for sowing the seeds of success. During the new moon, money spells and work spells stand a better chance of being fulfilled than at other times. It is generally a good time for spending money and speculating with a view towards the future. Those who have experienced problems should take advantage of the valuable time. The Waxing Moon The waxing moon is the period between the new moon and full moon. This is a special time for expansion and growth and accumulating strength. It is also an appropriate time for preparing your magical spells for the most promising time, which is the three days before the moon is full. The waxing moon aids the accomplishment of any undertakings, whether of a practical or spiritual nature. For witches, it is a time for quests for empowerment and a period in which to enhance our magical powers and our perception of the other world. In fact, the closer we come to the full moon, the stronger and more aspiring are our intuitive powers, which in turn leads to a new level of awareness. The full moon. The full moon is the most fortuitous time, especially when it's approaching the witching hour of midnight. Your inner strength and magical powers will be at their peak. Casting love spells during the full moon assures enchanting outcomes, so if you yearn for more love in your life, now is the time to transcend your desires into the cosmos. The full moon is also the most appropriate time to give recognition and to pay tribute to the spirits that guide and protect you. During this period, the extrovert aspects of our character begin to appear more outgoing and receptive towards others. So use this time wisely and crystallize your spells into rewarding experiences. The Waning Moon This is the period when the moon journeys from full to new moon. Casting spells for removing problems, eliminating trouble, Neutralizing adversaries and causing harm is most effective when the moon is on the wane. Protection spells for yourself, your loved ones, home and material possessions are also best cast at this time. It is also a time when our bodies are most susceptible to cleansing. 
So it is a good time to cleanse yourself through the process of detoxification. This can be best achieved through healing and herbal remedies such as healing teas. Diet and exercise also become easier during this time and results tend to last longer. I hope this helps in your spell casting. And please let me know in the comments if you have any requests for any spells that you would like or any other information that you are looking for. Thank you for watching. Please rate, share, and subscribe. And have a wonderful evening. Blessed be.